Hello class, this is uh, Professor Tweed here. We're looking at sort of non-photoreal rendering or really how to uh, sort of control your drawing to make it look however you want. Um, and uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to break this into a series of images and stack them up in layers. That's sort of the first important step. And the first one I'm going to look at is materials and materials only. So I'm going to go to my 3D mode. If you aren't already there, click on it. I'm going to go to scene. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uncheck shadows. So I'm going to click off, click that off, and we can see the shadows are still on, but we still have the, the sort of lighting effects, which, which is going to be nice. And I'm going to start rendering this. Of course, um, there's no reason for uh, you guys to sit here and watch all the rendering. So I'm going to give this video a pause, and we'll come back when I've got some quality uh, rendering done here. All right, my uh, image finished rendering. So I'm going to do what I would do in any case where I did a rendering. I'm going to come to layers. I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste this rendering as a new layer um, just so I can get that nice and saved. And I can move that into place for alignment purposes right, right on top of, uh, of that guy there. Um, and now you have materials without any shadows or other things. Now again, to make this really fully controlled, not that uh, you're going to need everything that I do in this, this video series, that's certainly not true, but I'm going to do a layer just like that with just shadows, and I'm going to do a later sort of just like this with just lines. Uh, I'm going to go to different videos for those, especially for shadows, because there's a, a few things, and even lines, there's things that we can do. We're going to do things more than just a simple cut and paste. Once we cut and paste, then we can we can do things with them, and we could do things with this layer as well, which we probably will eventually. So I'll cut this video short, and we'll go on to just looking at just shadows.